Hello everyone, I am Grimwit, and this is Miasmata. We have some time to do a little exploring up north. Today we're going to head over to those cliffs north of the cabin I was in, and perhaps find a way to replenish our clarity tonic in case I need to know where I am on the map. First, let's see what kind of trouble we have ahead of us. I don't really want to slide down these cliffs. Hmm. I'm headed towards a mini peninsula anyway. Looks like it's going to be north and then to the east a little bit. Much of this ex exploration will be off the map. So much of this episode you won't see the map. I think that's a good thing. It'll give us a chance to really really exercise the spatial center of our brains. All I need to do now is figure out a way to get down safely. Hmm. Might be safer to just go around the long way. Hey, bird. I'm lost. Let's try this route. Oh good, a cabin. It's not my precious Camp Vega. I do dislike the fact that every time you create a medicine, it will point it out that I've created a medicine in the journal. It should be enough just to check the journal's opening page and see all the medicines I've stuffed in there. Hmm, might be wise to sleep first. Tomorrow we have a long day ahead of us. Each night I look out into the sky and hope to see some stars. There's sort of a cloud of the Milky Way over there. It's never a clear night. Guess I'll go back to sleep. Well. We'll just head south of the camp and follow that trail, and it should follow a little bit of a topography. And if nothing else, we'll just follow the the river, or ocean, or bay. I'm not sure what to call something when it's that small. Gosh, it's dark. Oh, that's better. Sup, squirrel? He's so adorable. I, 
I don't know if it's other game players. I'll just take the shortcut here. There seems to be, and you guys can chime in if I'm wrong, there seems to be this need for maps that players have that things like Skyrim or Morrowind or the GTA games where you want to be able to open up your menu, see a map, and see it exactly where you are as if you had some kind of medieval GPS. I'm not saying I dislike those games. But there's something to be said about just getting lost. And just taking a leap of faith. Am I on the cliffside? Oh, it is so dark it's hard to see. Mornings. This looks like a trail. Nope, that's a cliff. That's a cliff. Backtracking. Yep, heading north. I'm trying to think of any games where all they give you is a compass. Besides old school dungeon games where you're meant to map things out on your own with a little graph paper. There's a head. Have I seen that head? Yes, I have. Where is that head according to me? Okay. That means I'm headed south? That can't be right. Oh. Steps, I think this is called. I don't see anything else that I can use as a landmark. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do but make like a cutie mark crusader and scootaloo along. I'm sorry for that reference. So it's exploration the hard way, without a map. Using your memory. And it's hard to find a game where you can even do it right. I bet you I can slide down this without any problem. But I'll look for... Now, I bet you I can slide down this. I'm gonna slide down this. Just remember, go sideways, sideways! Hey, it worked. Well, I'll rock on. And we found some water. It's probably not drinkable. It's hard to find a game where you can do this sort of thing. Where you can just use your memory and the lay of the land to figure out where you are. Skyrim is another example of that. Or for the longest time I was addicted to Fallout 3. Not New Vegas. Still haven't got to that. Alright, I spy with my little eye something beginning with camp. And that usually means there's a note inside. Let us set fires to feel joy and see what kind of message we have waiting for us. More notes about our precious Tularic, and how Callus has basically raised a mob against the Academy. No, no, I don't have that. 
Also in the note, there's reference to uh, a seventh person that could possibly be on the island. Isabella. Perhaps Sanchez's fiancé or wife? Girlfriend? Sister? I doubt mother. It's a nice clean path. Very worn. Cleared up. Easy to follow. Plenty of progress. Is that a camp? It's on the other side of the gorge. All right. All right. We, we head back. Let's, let's sing the backtrack song. Actually, let's skip ahead instead. So the idea of creating a terrain that you can get lost on and find your way without a map, that's a lot of work, which is probably why you don't see it very often in video games. Mostly you get things like sewer levels. Sewer levels are not fun. You can get lost in sewer levels, but it's not the same. Those twisty little passageways, all the same, is kind of boring to explore. Where's the newness? Where's the, the camp that you can find with new texts inside and use as a kind of mental landmark? And what's this? Fire from my hand. And water from an infinite pitcher. And the journal entry. That entry was practically a segment of a short story. The writer of the journal noticing two women taking care of probably the bodies of the dead, victims of the plague, a heavy-set woman barking orders, and a petite, smaller, more attractive woman, which of course the author had some admiration for. The heavy-set and elder woman barking orders find that the author, although he doesn't explicitly say it, seems to feel a kind of empathy for the heavyset woman, even though he's clearly attracted to the petite woman. Eh, that's long enough about this. Let's continue on down this very clear and clean path. Maybe it'll lead us to food. I haven't eaten in days. I'm so glad our endurance can handle this now. And off in the distance, hark, is it what I think it is? Another owl. What is it staring at? This one... This one seems to be staring either into a jungle or on into a cliffside. I cannot see any plants straight on. Maybe we'll find it later. Because I suspect if I were to go straight towards where it's looking now... Impenetrable jungle? Cliffside. I can't climb that. And neither can you. I don't see any easy way up. Uh, 
I'm honestly impatient to get to the next camp anyway, but we'll keep a note. I mean, it's a fairly easy owl to find. He's right where the end of this bay begins. Words are hard. Let's go running. Another sharp climb. As we're watching all the oak trees disappear and palm trees appear, we've entered a more tropical setting. Plenty of glass to hide in. I mean grass. Typo. Oh man, this is a dumb idea. More reason to do it. Yeah, I'm covered, I saved. No monsters around. More cliffside and some kind of structure. As highlighted by God himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steps. Signs of civilization. And although I didn't show it off before, these steps are made of stone, but when you step on them, they sound like wood. Slight miscalculation by the designers. Hooray! We've made it to our next cabin. Which means probably some notes and, more likely than not, a laboratory. Let's check it out before we check out the surrounding area. Because I think there's a plant around here that we haven't seen. Oh, oh my god. This man OD'd on marinara. Now what do we have here? A map of the area. Camp Dow. That must be our next... Yes. That's going to be our next destination. It's easy enough to follow. It seems to follow the topography of the land again. There's that word, topography. And what's this? Oh? We'll cover that in a second. information about ruins that lead to a very unusual plant. A plant we'll see later. Maybe next episode. Alright. We can now map ourselves. Kind of takes the fun out. After I just got done talking about getting lost on purpose. Oh, that's dangerous. I can't see where the steps start. You think somebody would have thought of that, but I guess not. All right, let's firewalk. The plague makes us immune to fire, as you can see here. Fire, walk with me. I knew that plant was here. Easy to find and meh. Once we do a little research on it, we find it's another mental clarity tonic. An alternative to the red cap mushrooms.
So, we're going to backtrack a little bit because I wish to climb the other way. And that's about where it's going to be. The steps we passed. We passed another set of so stone steps. The news article is poignant. It is basically about Callus raising up a huge rally of people. Oh, these are wooden steps. Uh, <laughs> hop. Callus raises up a huge mob of people. They claim that science is a hoax, which, where have we heard that before? Germs, specifically, are a hoax. And then they burn down the academy. There's a photograph of the academy burning down, which means that somebody, since this happens in 1911, took the time to set up a camera and very carefully take a picture of this momentous occasion. Robert Hughes is a better cliff climber than he gives himself credit for. There is a celebration of ignorance in the story of Callus and his nationalists. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's try and hit this at an angle with better results. Come on, anything? No, there's, no, we haven't mapped that. There's... What is that? Oh, it's the head. Well, let's see what structure await, awaits in the rain. The celebration of ignorance is, I mean, that's got to be a common theme worldwide. Is that a frog? Is that a statue? In the guides that I've checked for this game, this statue is known as the Creepy Statue. Man? Frog? Frogman? Both? I would think that an intelligent man would want to convince a community that it's all right to be dumber. That's a man, I think. Because dumb people are easy to control. No rain where there once was. Dumb people are chumps. Isn't that what education is really about? Reducing the number of chumps in the world? Wow, this is kind of pretty, and I'm not even sure that I can swim this. Let's try. Nope, nope, no, nope, nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Let's see if we can find some other way to handle this. I must be north of the owl statue by now. So about willful, willful ignorance. It's even hard to say. I find it hard to think of the thought process of wanting to not know. I'm terribly curious about everything anyway. It's kind of against my nature to not want to know. But I suppose there's no thought process involved. People are stupid because they weren't thinking. Hmm. That owl must have been looking up here somewhere. Hmm. 
Mm, no way down here. Ooh, stairs. It all kind of ties together, I guess. Sort of. I have no willful ignorance. I crave more information. I crave exploration. I don't... I don't think I have that. Nope. Nope. Yes. I got a landmark pretty close by. We'll check that out as soon as I finish this. So my wanderlust is part of, I guess, my insatiable appetite for knowledge. Good lord, those birds are loud. Shut up down there. I'm mapping. Well, anyway. I like wandering around with no maps. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, we took a hit. Things are going to stay blurry unless we take some medicine. This will be the first time you've seen me take this medicine. And I'm okay again. I need some twigs to save at this place. I don't see any around. Must be something to burn around here. I gotta set fires. I gotta set fires. Hmm. Maybe down there. Looks like it's easy enough to get back up. Be careful. Whoa, whoa. Wh what? What is this? What is this?